Good morning. Welcome to this Tuesday morning. We expect it to get really windy today. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Weather window, Interstate 15, Idaho Falls, Broadway exit looking south. Looking pretty good as we start off on this Tuesday morning. Here's that high wind warning that is in effect until 6 o'clock tonight. Now the winds are really going to be starting up around 11 o'clock noon today and going until 6. We're talking sustained winds, 30 to 40 miles per hour, gusts up to 60 miles per hour. So definitely if you have any uh, trees with leaves still on them, they won't be when you wake up tomorrow morning. 52 right now, Pocatello, a little bit cooler in town, mostly cloudy skies with a single digit wind speed. In through Idaho Falls, 33 clear skies with a three mile per hour wind, not really affecting our feels like temperature. Some temperatures around the region, look at that, 30s for Montpelier, a lot warmer than we were yesterday at this time. 27 Afton, 26 Jackson, Driggs in the 30s to start off today. Island Park, 20s, pretty normal. 37 for Dubois, 33 for Arco, but as we take a look through the southern uh, Bannock County, Power County areas, even moving into Casha and Minidoka, we're looking at 50s right now for the temperature. Now we take a look at these wind speeds. We have single digit wind speeds up and down the Snake River Plain. Yeah, those will be increasing today once those winds start up. But the nice thing is, is they aren't going to be up for very long, only from, like we said, from about 11 a.m. till 6 o'clock tonight. Storm tracker radar, not much in through the southern portion of the state, but we are looking at the cloudy conditions. We have this system that's moving in off the Pacific, pushing in through eastern portions of Washington and Oregon, and that's going to give us a chance of some showers overnight. So for today, cloudy and windy through the Snake River Plain, 60s for our daytime highs, but with that wind, it's not going to feel like 60 degree weather. Partly cloudy and breezy through the highlands in western Wyoming. We're looking at highs in the mid 50s for Jackson, Afton, low 50s for Yellowstone, 50s for Island Park, Driggs and Soda Springs. For the Central Mountains, partly cloudy today. We will get a little bit of sunshine. Daytime highs 61 for Salmon, a little bit cooler through Chalice, 57, 52 for Mackey. And then overnight tonight, starting about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, we do have a chance of showers developing through the Central Mountains. And that's going to change the snow by the time the, the sun starts to rise. So don't don't be surprised if you wake up tomorrow and there's a little bit of snow on the ground. 36 the low for Salmon, 34 for Ledore, 25 for Stanley. Same thing for the Highlands in western Wyoming. We'll start off with a chance of some showers in the overnight hours, and that's going to change to snow. Chance of some snow in the early morning hours on Wednesday. Highs right around or lows right around the freezing mark. And same for the Snake River Plain with a chance of rain overnight. Not so much a chance of snow, but we do have some wet weather on the way. So 39 the overnight low for Idaho Falls, Rexburg. 38 St. Anthony, 39 Blackfoot, American Falls, 43 for an overnight low in Pocatello. Here's a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers seven day forecast. Once we get done with, get done with that rain shower activity in the morning, not too bad of a Wednesday, but we do have cooler conditions. Look at that 43 the high tomorrow. We're expected to get in the 60s today. Yeah, say goodbye. 40s for Thursday, 30s for Friday with a chance of snow starting up on Friday, turning to a rain snow mix over the weekend. We do have that time change coming up on Sunday. So when you go to bed Saturday night, turn your clocks back one hour. This is a good one. This is one where we get an extra hour to sleep. Very nice. Yeah, Blackfoot also with a chance of rain tomorrow. That's extending into the weekend with a chance of rain snow mix Saturday and Sunday. Idaho Falls, chance of that rain tomorrow morning. Then again, rain snow mix on Saturday. Sunday turning to all snow on Monday. Rexburg, you can expect cloudy skies, chance of rain tomorrow, chance of rain snow mix Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And for the Teton area, yep, cloudy with a chance of snow tomorrow, and then lots of snow coming starting Friday, extending all the way through the weekend and into the middle part of next week. Deanne?